Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you all for clicking on today's video. So guys, today I'm going to be washing my braids. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm going to be washing my braids. Yeah, I had these braids in for about um, seven, I feel like it's going on eight weeks. Um, I don't know how we got here um, and I'm about to take them out. So this video is basically for experimental purposes because honestly, I'm going to just say it and I might ruffle a few feathers, but washing your braids is ghetto. I'm just, it's ghetto. I think it's ghetto. It's a bit ratchet, but I think after four to six weeks, you should just take them out. But you know. Whatever, like I said, I don't even know how I got here. So, yeah, again, this is for experimental purposes. I'm about to take it out. And it is a lot of buildup from just the stylist using a lot of product in our hair. So, I get why you would want to wash them before taking them out. Not wash them and keep going. Like, no. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> let's just get into the video. But, I am using um, this Cantu Protective Styles by Angela. Um, it's a hair bath and cleanser uh, with apple cider vinegar and aloe. It soaks away odor and buildup. So it's for wigs, braids, weaves, and locks. Never heard of it. My girlfriend sent me a reel of some girl using this. And she also used some sulfur egg medicated spray. Yeah, it's dangerous treatment for braids. It prevents dry, itchy scalp. I don't think I need this. Yeah, but I bought this weeks ago to do this and still haven't done it. Um, and I bought this like little massage thingy. Yeah, so. And I got some water right here and a spray bottle and a towel. And hold on, let me take my hair down. And because like these are um, human hair, boho braids, I don't know what you call them. Uh, look at it, yeah, all the human hair is tangled and we're going to see, I should have bended this, but we're going to see if I can bring it back to life. Again, I'm about to take this out. So this is for experimental purposes. Hopefully I even get the video out and this don't turn into a hot mess. So yeah, we're going to get I'm gonna like try to like detangle these curls because I paid the extra for human hair. I'm not gonna say the price, but I never put anything in them, mousse, nothing. And I want to see after like six weeks they started looking crazy. So, and don't come for the technique of my braids. Um, we're not here for that. We're not here for that. We just here to like get rid of the dandruff. I'm gonna show y'all close up. I don't know how the bag looks. Never cared to look. But yeah, I'm gonna look at the reel one more time to see how this girl did this. And yeah, we gonna start. <laughs>
All right, guys, so, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know, I don't know. Again, I just need to watch some of the buildup on the braids. Like, not the buildup, the, because my scalp actually looked pretty good. It's the, what you call it, the product. Like, when did these stylists, they, like, they don't know how to part without using all of that braiding gel or whatever you call it. Like, they just putting all this gel on your scalp to part. Like, you can't part without that. Like, that's not how I grew up. Like, this is just too much. And then you be having all the braids be all white at the beginning because they're using all this damn product. So, I hope this clean it up some of it so I can get the braids out and the dirt knots out that I'm going to have. Um, but, yeah. And, again, we're going to see. I'm going to use some mousse. I don't know, and I kind of like how No, I don't. Uh, I don't say I like how it's feeling. No, I don't. But we're gonna get, I got some moves, and we're gonna see how, like, once I rinse this out, I'm gonna rinse my hair under the sink. Do y'all wanna see, like, under the sink, under the shower? Do y'all wanna see that? I don't know. I'll do it, I'll record it anyway, and then just edit it if I feel like it. But, the scalp is pretty much cleansed. It doesn't give you like a really big suck, I guess because it's like a cleanser, it's not shampoo. It don't feel like shampoo. Yeah, like, this is my hands. But yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna rinse it out. And then we're gonna try to mousse up and detangle this human hair that's supposed to be like, and see if it's, if it's gonna go come back to life, so. The fuck around, I might keep it in longer. It's like, no. All right, I didn't almost drown myself. Forgot I had earrings on, makeup on, whatever. But it's still a no, it's still a no. Like, look, like you see the residue on the braid. Like, you, it's still build up on the braid. Like, it made it worse. Ew, ew. Let me see if I can rub it off. You want to play with the girls now because I just need to cut it off. Just cut it out. But again, I don't. Oh my god. Um, I don't have nothing to do with my hair yet. <sighs> Going on vacation. I wanted this again, but I didn't want to get in like the pool with all of this and this wet. That's not my thing. I'm trying to go swimming and I'm not trying to get breathing. And I'm about to take this out. I'm gonna do another video on like how I cut had to cut all my hair off. Um that's another video for another day. Um but I think I'm gonna do that video next once I take these out. Cause look, look at that. Take these dirty braids out, they're already breaking out my face. All right, so let's just see if we can revive the curls or is it too late for that? Um, I see other people do it. They don't be like combing ears. They just be like wetting ears and like mousse and ears are gone. Mine's is kind of tangled. Again, this is just for experimental purposes. Like this hair been, it been tangled after like the six weeks, which is when you should take your braids out. Anyway, so yeah, I'm not into getting touch ups around the roots and all of that when, when the insides still look like no, I don't, I don't like that. Um, yeah, let's figure it out. Let's figure, see if we can do this out. I should cut it today. 
I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for my daughter or give this to my friend job, but I'm not about to spray this in my head. This is a medicated anti-dandruff conditioner for braids. It's unnecessary. If you ask me, but I thought I was about to do something. I thought I was about to make a miracle. And wrong. All right, oh my God. It might just be over for these braids. It's just over. No more inspection. First, let's just move the ends and start there and see if like that does something. I think I gotta go through each individual braid and fix it. Oh, this might be a fresh can. I don't know. are stuck to my braid like the hair is like oh my god now I'm messing up the bottoms okay see. <laughs> see that's why I didn't do all of this because I don't know what I'm doing once it's old just trash it just trash it it's not, it's not our hair anyway. Just trash it. Oh, try and get my money's worth, but this is crazy. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ooh. Too much work. That's why I'm going to hit it now. Because I don't want to do the work. Like, I don't want a high maintenance protective style. Oh my God. You know what? I quit. My patience. I quit. Mm, okay, I'm not doing that either. So, okay. I'm going to do what the girlies do on social media. They just be like, Moosing it, they don't be brushing it, none of that. Mine's just really tangled. We just want to see. Come on, moose the whole damn section. This is a catastrophe. I'm about to cut this out. I guess it won't look like all stiff and raggedy. The moose will make it look like something. Something. These roots still look like a hot freaking mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. I can't believe this is what I made in life today. Cause I ain't take care of my hair now. I'm in the trenches with the short hair that I don't wanna freaking take care of either. I mean, if not, I could have been to this. I mean, I could have done this moves on the braids. I don't feel like they looking better. It still look frizzy. Like, it still look very much. <laughs> I can't show y'all. It's still giving, it's still giving frizzy. Let me see if I can get a different angle. It still look very much frizzy. Like the moose ain't controlling the frizz. Mm. Mm. No. Oh, I 
done, drew my eyebrows on, and the water then took them off. <sighs> I'm about to record the podcast. So, you know, if you guys on my ring aren't subscribed to our podcast channel, I'm going to put it right here on the screen somewhere. Yep, yep, yep. Was that mostly? It's not getting anything different. It's getting wet. That's what it's giving. This is the epic fail. Let's do this last section. Okay, we'll talk about this. Not nothing I'm really talk about. Like I said, don't wash your breath. Take them off. I have somewhere to go tomorrow, and this ain't making them look anywhere any better for tomorrow. Mm mm. It's gonna be wet and frizzy. That's what it's gonna. It's gonna dry up and look back to normal. I just put more product on it. That need to be washed out all over again. Just put it up because I ain't got time for it. Alright guys, I'm back. I had to go draw back on my eyebrows and put some eyeliner on. Um, but yeah, that was an epic, epic fail. Um, yeah, you can see it's still a lot of frizz in my braids. There's still a lot of buildup on my braids from the product. Um, maybe shampoo. Would have been better but that braid um cleanser is a waste of money it's uh, a waste of money it didn't cleanse anything and i put a liberal amount on there um is that the right word yeah but yeah guys i'm gonna end the video here as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i hope all you guys have a good day bye